Turn left, then turn right. Well, here we are, folks. Sleepy Hollow State Park. Uh, so far, pretty nice. Uh, like I said earlier there, it's more of a, a newer forest. There's not a lot of mature trees here, but there sure is a lot of shade right here. And as the sun goes down further, as it gets later in the day, it's gonna be a really nice place to camp as long as there's nobody else around. Uh, I will show you around. Uh, but um, the campsites are relatively close together. When I made this reservation a few days ago, I purposely uh, picked an area that there was no other reservations, at least for tonight. Now that could have changed in the last couple of days, I don't know. But um, it does give me some quiet and some space as long as nobody else, nobody else shows up next to me or right across from me. All right, folks. Thanks for joining, and I'll bring you back later once my camp is set up. Well, folks, uh, camp is just about set up. Um, driving me crazy right now. Ever since I've got here, uh, they've been cutting grass, edging, mowing, uh, running uh, leaf blowers, it's crazy. Um, but beyond that, it's beautiful. There's a nice breeze. Uh, you know, my camp is pretty much set up. Uh, there's not much to do, really. I've got my uh, tent set up. Uh, I've got my sleeping system, my sleeping bag and everything already set up in there. So I'm ready to go now. I didn't put the, um, the rain fly over the top of the tent. Uh, there's not supposed to be any rain tonight. And so I thought it'd be nice just to, um, uh, to sleep without the rain fly. I don't need the rain fly to hold in any heat or anything like that. It's supposed to be 51, 52 degrees uh, tonight. So I'll be plenty warm and it, it'll be nice. I have slept in that tent before on a couple occasions uh, without the rain flying. It's super nice when it's a nice mild evening. So I think I'm gonna just leave that. Uh, the fire pit is back there and um, I think I'm just gonna cook dinner here on my on the tailgate rather than use the picnic table because uh, I'd have to move the picnic table a little bit because it's kind of sitting at a slope. So um, I think I'm just going to try to cook here. I mean, it's no big deal. So anyway, um, that's about it. Really nothing set up. I'm just going to kind of organize everything. And um, I think I'm going to go for a drive around the camp ground and uh, uh, check out the different sites, see if there's anything nicer that Abby and I could come to uh, with our camper one day. Um, I'm also going to take a ride down the road to uh, where the trails are. There is also a beach here. There's a lake nearby. So I'm just going to go uh, check everything out. If uh, there's anything that's interesting, I'll bring you back. Otherwise, I'll bring you back for uh, cooking dinner.
there's one of the cabins off in the distance. I'm not sure if you can see it. Let's walk down there and take a look. It looks like they have some uh, accommodations for horses uh, to put their horses at, park their horses, uh, if you're going to stay in the cabin here. Now there are a lot of horse trails uh, around this area. There's designated horse trails and designated hiking and biking trails. Way out in the distance over there is the uh, beach area. But these uh, cabins look pretty nice. There's uh, propane, obviously, so there's propane heat in here. Uh, there's a nice little picnic area. As you can see here, place to grill, fire pit, picnic table. There's the lake out there. Looks like a pretty big lake. Might be nice for kayaking. Let's see if we can uh, peek into these cabins. It looks like there's two. There's one here and one out there in the distance. You can see uh, outhouse over here. Okay, I've walked a bit of the way into these uh, trail system where all the backcountry uh, walk-in sites are. Uh, let's check out B. It's yeah, just a ways back here. And this is it, very nice. Picnic table, fire pit. Looks like they have um, posts for hanging a hammock. That's pretty cool. And uh, looks like there's a trail, a mowed trail that goes down to the beach. This would be a beautiful place to uh, camp overnight. Really nice. If you like to, uh, like a site that you have to walk into. So uh, this isn't a long walk, but uh, you do have to carry your gear in. So, um, you know, it's good to uh, kind of think backpacking and set up for backpacking, even though your car is only like five minute walk away. Well, here's the beach, folks. It's a pretty windy day, so apologize for the uh, any wind noise. But uh, you can see the lake out there. Pretty good sized lake, I suppose. Sorry for the bad camera angles. I'm in one of the shelters right now. <coughs> So you can see the uh, beach is right out there. Looks like a pretty nice beach. There's a, a dock or a pier that goes out that I suppose you could fish off of, uh, a sandy area. A lot of uh, open area for picnicking. I think there's a uh, disc golf uh, course around here someplace as well. There's another shelter out there. Pretty nicely maintained area. All right, folks, I'm going to get back to camp now and uh, chill out uh, and uh, get ready to have dinner. See you back at camp. All right, everyone. Welcome back. Thanks for uh, 
stopping at camp this this evening. It's about um, just about a few minutes to six. I've just been hanging out at camp, uh, writing in my journal a little bit, just doing some reflection, listening to the awesome breeze. It's cooled down quite a bit. It's very comfortable now. Probably in a little bit, I'll probably have to put a, a warmer shirt on, but I'm going to start preparing dinner. So what are we having for dinner tonight? You're welcome to join me. We're having uh, cheesy veggie burgers and a special dish called poutine, which is a Canadian dish. Now they normally make poutine with french fries, gravy, and cheese curds. I'm making like Polish poutine, which is um, uh, potatoes. I'm gonna cube some potatoes, uh, boil them, uh, put gravy on top, and I've got just some, some uh, cubed uh, Gouda cheese. That I'm gonna put on that, so that's my own special uh, version of poutine. All right, let me get started. I'll bring you back. Okay, so we're just putting some potatoes in the water. So first we're gonna boil the potatoes. Um, potatoes are boiling they probably will boil for about another five ten minutes I like them really soft I've got some uh, mushroom gravy here and um, I've got this cracker barrel guess it's not Gouda it's Vermont sharp white and Gouda uh, already cut up cubed cheese and I've got two uh, veggie burgers that are made by a company called Bubba Burgers. They make really good um, Angus beef burgers as well. These are vegetarian, made with uh, all vegetables and things like that. Clean up. I'm just going to uh, put the potatoes in a small fry pan. I'll cut them up and then I'll put the gravy, homestyle mushroom gravy in and uh, warm up the gravy. Now the trick is once everything's uh, properly warmed up, to put the cheese cubes in just before you turn it off so that the cheese cubes just get a little uh, melted around the edges, they're not totally melted, so that the cheese cubes retain their shape. That's the secret. So we'll see if I can make that happen. And then once, uh, once the boutine is done, I'll just keep that in the frying pan and I'll use a different frying pan to uh, do my veggie burgers. They won't take very long. So I think that frying pan will keep the poutine warm while I do the uh, veggie burgers. Okay, so our potatoes are done. Just gonna fry them up a little bit now and add my mushroom gravy in. is probably a meal in itself. And I like to sprinkle my burgers with this uh, just McCormick Grillmaster hamburger seasoning. These burgers have um, kind of fallen apart a bit because they're uh, kind of defrosted. Usually you're supposed to put these right from the freezer into the frying pan. All right, I think we're gonna add the cheese cubes now. So we have our cheese cubes in now. Just gonna give this a little bit of chance to um, melt a little bit and warm up and then we'll get the burgers on and I will bring you back for dinner. Stick around and have dinner with me. 
Okay, folks, welcome to dinner. I have my uh, veggie burger with some melted Swiss and smokehouse cheddar and my poutine. Hope you can see that it looks so good. So I'm not going to eat all of this. I do have another veggie burger that I made. Uh, I'm just going to put that in the cooler for tomorrow maybe. And uh, probably won't eat all of this. This is a lot. This is a whole meal right here. So I'll have to figure out something to do with that because I don't have an extra container. All right, folks, I'm going to eat my dinner. You don't need to watch me eat. Um, go have your dinner and uh, meet me back in about an hour or so for a campfire, and we'll chat. Oh, and hey, when you meet me back uh, for the campfire in a little while, uh, bring your own favorite beverage, okay? And I'll see you at the campfire this evening. Well, you guys, it's about quarter after eight. Uh, the sun is probably be setting in another half hour maybe or something. Uh, I'm stuffed from that uh, one veggie burger and I ate about half of that poutine. Uh, I put the rest away, stuck it in the cooler. Uh, it is cooled off a bit. I put my flannel shirt on. I think I'm going to go for a walk if you guys want to come along. Trail to the beach. Let's go check it out. See if we can find the beach. It's not too far away. This is the, uh, the parking lot for the beach where I was at earlier, where we were at earlier. All right, just wanted to see how far it was, not too far of a walk. Let's head back to camp now. Time to get a fire going. I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. Uh, I couldn't get any fire starter logs, so I just bought this big uh, fire log, this Duraflame fire log. I'll get this going and then we'll have a nice campfire. All right, everybody, cheers. Ah, oh, so nice to get away. Even if it's just for overnight, it's nice. Ah. You guys, thanks for joining me this evening. Thanks for coming along on this camp trip with me.
Well, folks, I don't know if you can see me, but uh, it's time to go in. It's about um, 10 o'clock right now, and uh, fire's still burning a little bit. I'm going to let it burn out. I'm just going to get into my tent and uh, lay down and watch the night sky and watch the glow of the fire. Thanks for joining me tonight. I'll uh, see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's such a beautiful morning. I wish you were actually here with me and not uh, watching this through a screen. But I know you're on the other side. I slept so good last night. It was such a, an amazing night. I think it went down to about uh, 50 degrees. Uh, but I was uh, really warm in my uh, this sleeping bag. I think this is an REI sleeping bag. Um, I did bring my uh, quilt with me as well, my uh, camping quilt, but I didn't need it. Uh, this was sufficient. I slept really good on this air mattress. Um, my uh, Thermarest backpacking mattress. I always do though. Uh, you know, I do tend to sleep better on a firm mattress, but man, what, a, what an awesome morning, what an awesome evening. So I think I'm gonna lay here for a little bit longer. It's about 7.30 right now. I was up uh, about five. 5.30, it's just starting to get light, and um, I was going to get up then, and I thought about taking, uh, setting up the camera for uh, some, um, uh, do a time lapse, but I just didn't feel like getting up and setting everything up, it was so cozy in here, but uh, it's about 7.30 now, and I I think I'm lay here for a bit longer, then I'm going to get up and uh, I'll bring you back for uh, some coffee. Uh, hope you're having a cup of coffee with me this morning. It's just coffee and um, hot chocolate. One of my favorite drinks. I don't drink it too much. Usually I drink my coffee black. Uh, anyway, 
Thank you for joining me this morning. It is an amazing morning. Even the, the distant sound of um, lawnmowers going uh, to prepare for the holiday weekend. Uh, the park is very well maintained, I will have to say that. Uh, but it's so far in the distance, it just the sound doesn't, doesn't uh, affect me the same way as if a lawnmower were going off right next to me, you know. So, so uh, my plan for today so far is um, I think I'm going to uh, get a fire going. Uh, I've got three more pieces of firewood. Uh, a morning fire is always very nice. I'll let that burn, and um, then I think I'm just going to tear down the tent, and uh, I think I might um, actually, uh, after I pack up, I might uh, take a drive back to where those uh, walk-in sites are, and uh, I might go out there and uh, do a little bit of uh, yoga practice out there in the morning, maybe do some meditation, so... Uh, perhaps you might be interested in uh, coming with me. So folks, uh, I'm going to get a fire going. Uh, I'll bring you back for that and then uh, we'll get packed up, uh, do a little yoga. Uh, what? You've never done yoga before? That's okay. You can follow along with me. All right, well, it's about 10.30 a.m. now. I enjoyed uh, a nice uh, morning fire, finished my coffee, uh, sent a message to my daughter because today is her 30th birthday, um, did a little video for her, uh, wishing her a happy birthday, telling her how much I love her and so forth, and uh, texted that to her. She's at work today, so I'll talk to her later this evening when she gets home. Uh, it's time for me to go, I think. So I'm going to uh, pack up uh, my gear. Uh, I'll do it really fast. Get everything organized in the truck for the drive home, uh, the wander home. And then uh, I think I'm going to drive uh, back over to those walk-in sites and uh, uh, do a little yoga practice. And um, then I'll figure out where I'm going from there, which way I'm going to go home. So uh, I'll try to do this really quickly, get the tent taken down, and then I'll see you on the road. Well, folks, uh, that's it for my trip. I've just got about um, 45 minutes to go, uh, just making my way back over to I-75. Uh, I'll get that south, and uh, I should be back in about 45 minutes. Uh, it'll be about 5 o'clock when I get home. It was a really good trip. Thanks for coming along with me. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Remember to be a good human being and remember to be useful to other people. Bye-bye. See you later.